screencast tells us how to use the TA Inspire CX to solve uh, number 12 from the Regents, where we have a series of graphs that we have to look, or a graph that we have to look at, and we have to answer some questions as to which equation fits the graph. So let's read the question. Which equations represent the graph below? 1, y equals x plus 2 times x squared minus 4x minus 12, 2, y equals x minus 3 times x squared plus x minus 2, and finally 3, y equals x minus 1 times x squared minus 5x minus 6. And we uh, have choices that include perhaps one or perhaps two of these graphs. So what we're going to do is we're going to get to our graphing calculator here. We're going to add graphs. We'll type in the first one. So we now take our f1 of x and we're going to put in our parentheses. And our x plus 2, close the parentheses, set up another set of parentheses, and we have x squared minus 4x minus 12. We'll simply hit enter and we can see that this graph clearly is not the same as the graph that we see in the diagram here. So we're going to now plot another graph so we'll hit menu. We're going to go to graph and edit and put in another function. And now we'll do the next one, which is, we'll get the parentheses, x minus 3. Close the parentheses. Set up a new set of parentheses. x squared plus x minus 2. And close those parentheses. Hit our enter key. And we see that we have something that's a candidate here, right? Uh, because we uh, intersect our uh, x-axis at negative 2, just like we do on the graph here, and at uh, positive 1, and as uh, well at 3. So we know that number 2 fits. Now all we have to do is look at number 3, and then we can answer the question. So again, we are going to hit our menu button, and we're going to choose function once again. And we'll type in that last uh, equation. So we have y equals x minus 1. Again, closing the parentheses. x squared minus 5x minus 6. And we'll hit the enter. And clearly this one does not fit it. So we can easily answer this question by looking at our choices. And only the second equation fits that model. So we will answer 2.